Hey guys, what's up? Tori here. So I'm here to do my answering my questions I got from um, sending out that Q&A. Um, I reached out on my Instagram, on here on YouTube, and on Facebook. I didn't really get a whole ton of questions, but I did get a couple, and they are all weight loss surgery related, so I'm just going to um, cover that here, and I'm also just going to kind of like update on kind of where I'm at with things. So first off, I'm going to answer the questions that I got asked. The first question I got asked came from Analog Winter. I have the questions written down over here, so that's why I'm looking over this way. She asked me, how long after your arm lift was it before you were completely back to normal and do you have any numbness around your scars? Um, how long it was after my arm lift before I was completely back to normal? Like honestly, I felt really good. Like by the time I was like two weeks post-op, like I honestly felt really good. Like I felt really normal, but my arms still felt very weird and like I still couldn't lift a lot for, like it was like six weeks before I was able to start like getting back into my normal lifting. Um, and also like my plastic surgeon, he just said, you know, lift what you lift, lift what feels comfortable. You know, if it hurts to lift it, don't lift it kind of thing. Um, honestly, by the time I was, by the time I got to like that six weeks point, like I was definitely very much like 100% back to normal, like lifting everything I wanted, like nothing like hurt or bothered me. Um, I did like... I don't know, like a month or so post-op, I did have some, um, like, nerve regeneration pain, like, like, the nerves kind of were just, like, waking back up kind of thing, and so, like, it was, like, these, like, sharp shooting pains, which, um, like, I would feel them, and they would hurt, like, really bad, and then my arm would, like, feel, like, almost just kind of, like, tired and kind of, like, achy a little bit afterwards. But then, like, after a few hours, like, it kind of died away. But then my arm just kind of felt tired after that. Like, my arms just kind of felt tired. So, that's kind of what that was. It was a very weird, weird thing. And, like, I did, like, I kind of, like, wrapped my arms again to kind of try to help a little bit with that. Especially when I was at work. Um, because it kind of would diminish it a little bit. Um, but, honestly, I would say by the time I was six weeks post-op, like, I was 100% back to normal. And I honestly felt pretty normal at, like, two weeks post-op because I went back to work. It was, like, I was, like, two and a half weeks post-op when I went back to work. And I honestly felt great. Like, I was having no major issues at work or anything. Like, other than my arms feeling, like, tired by the end of my work day. Like, they didn't hurt or bother me. Like, I honestly had very, very little pain with my arm surgery. So, yeah, um... Like, don't, if you're looking into having your arm surgery done, like, don't let the pain scare you because it really is not as painful as what you would think because of the fact that they only are operating on your skin. They're not digging into muscles or anything like that. So it really isn't a super painful surgery. And what pain you do have, you can easily manage with pain meds. I mean, the, like, strong, like, the Norco that they gave me, I only took that, like, the first couple days. I didn't really like taking it because, for one, it made me constipated. Two, it just made me feel very tired and blah. So I only took that a few times, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take Tylenol. Um, I couldn't take ibuprofen, but, like, I was like, I'm just going to take Tylenol. So, and honestly, Tylenol really helped. Any, and, like, the only pain I even had was just a tiny bit in my armpits because, just because, like, that area rubbed. Um, whereas the other areas didn't really rub. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty, I hope that answers your question. And, oh, do I have any numbness around my scars? I, I don't really have numbness around my scars because, uh, I'm wearing a sweatshirt so this doesn't help. But my scars run, like, right in, kind of, actually, almost kind of on the line here is where my scars run. And it's not really on, around the scars itself that I feel numbness. I actually have a little bit of numbness under my arm here. And I think that is just because that's where he did the liposuction. So I'm sure he just like bumped nerves and stuff a lot when doing that. So I have numbness like right under my arms here. And it's not like a lot of numbness. It's just a little bit like when I poke it here, like I can like it, it does feel a little bit numb. And I have that with both arms more so on this arm than this arm though, actually, which is kind of weird. Um, so just a little bit of numbness under my arms still, which that may or may not ever go away. That's what he told me. So. Hopefully that answers that for you. The next questions I have are from Penny D. Um, first question she asks is, what do you eat in a day? Um, <laughs> it honestly very much varies right now. I used to like be like very set, like this is just what I ate all the time. 
but then like when I lost my other job and then like I had that little lull of where I wasn't working and then now I've started my new job like phew, <laughs> I have like no regular eating schedule breakfast for me it usually tends to be either I have like a bowl of protein I sometimes will have a bowl of protein Cheerios and that tends to be a very common thing especially if I need to eat something quickly um otherwise like I have been doing some meal prepping lately so I will make like um I have like these little egg cups that I've made um I'll do those or I did make some kind of cheese protein pancakes which I did kind of like those they weren't they weren't like my absolute favorite thing but I did like them so I probably will do those again at some point they're probably just not something I'll do terribly often um so I did those but like if I don't have like something that I've pre-made I sometimes will just do like an egg and a couple of turkey sausage um you know, I always tend to go, like, I tend to try to be as hearty as I can on the protein, but I try not to have, like, a super, super huge breakfast. Um, so that, that kind of tends to be what my breakfasts are. I mean, sometimes I'll go a little bit on the carby side. I'll have, like, a waffle, but I'll put peanut butter on it because I way prefer peanut butter on those kinds of things than I do syrup. I'm weird, I know. But, <laughs> and peanut butter has protein in it, so it's all good with me. <laughs> um, I'll do that on occasion, but... Yeah, that kind of tends to do what my breakfasts are. My lunches, my lunches tend to be pretty light. Most of the time, I'll have one of my little P3 packs, and then I'll have maybe like some protein chips and a protein bar, and maybe like a fruit cup um, with it, some sort of fruit. Um, I'll do that, or like I lately have been into the uh, turkey jerkies, the little turkey stick, turkey jerky sticks, and I'll have that with like a piece of cheese, and again, my protein chips and a protein bar, and maybe some fruit. Um, or I'll just take like a couple slices of turkey and a piece of cheese and I'll just wrap that up and eat that it will, oh, again and maybe do something like a protein bar, protein chips, fruit cup kind of thing with it. I usually for sure try to have fruit with um, my lunch. So I do sometimes have fruit with my breakfasts too. Not always, sometimes. I try to have some fruit and vegetable every day because it just keeps my system flowing good, if you know what I mean. Um, so that tends to be what my lunches are, just very light and simple. I never, every once in a while, I'll do leftovers. Um, I did have a stretch there, though, shortly after I had lost my other job, uh, where, like, my lunches were just like anything, and they were not always the healthiest. Like, if any of you who are following my Instagram when I was posting my meals on Instagram, oi, I needed work, serious work, and I have been working on it. Um, so... Yeah, that, te that tends to be my lunches. And then dinner is dinner is always my biggest meal of the day um, because that's the one meal that I cook for me, my dad, and my brother. And I always do, like, I come up with, like, a main course of some kind, and then I usually will do a vegetable of some kind with it. Um, so I, like, I'll do different kinds of chicken, and then I'll do a vegetable of some kind with it. Um, I'll... You know, sometimes I'll make like a casserole, and if I do a casserole, I usually, again, I will usually do a vegetable with it. I I try to keep my casseroles like as like least carby as possible. Every once in a while, I'll do something that has like potatoes in it too. Um, but I try to not go that way. If I do a pasta dish, I always use my high protein, lower carb pasta, and I try not to do a pasta dish more than like once a week. Um, because otherwise I would do pasta dishes constantly because they're easy and they're delicious. <laughs> so I try very hard to not do a pasta dish more than once a week. Um, but again, it's like whatever my main course is with a vegetable. I've been actually very doing, a, I've been doing a lot of stuff with cauliflower actually. And like last week I made a cauliflower crust pizza. So then like there was like very, very little carbs in it and it was really good actually. And, um, not too long ago too, I made a um, cauliflower mac and cheese, and then I made some turkey, homemade turkey sausage um, to have with it, which that was delicious. And I made a um, paprika parmesan chicken too with some roasted cauliflower not too long ago, and that was also really delicious. Um, I've been finding a lot of really good recipes that I've been trying. Um, so yeah, usually it's just it's something I try to stay fairly high protein and then I always usually do a vegetable with it too and if my dad and brother want to have extra stuff with their food they can do that on their own um, 
normally they, they're usually pretty good about eating whatever I make. And if it's something they don't like, they are usually pretty good about telling me so that I know, okay, then maybe I don't do this recipe too often. Or if I do it, I'll do maybe a very small amount for myself and then do something different for them or whatever. So that's what my meals look like. Uh, snacks wise, I usually just will have like a protein bar for a snack. Um, I have a whole bunch of different kind of protein bars that I have. So those, that tends to be what my snacks are. Um, and then you also asked about what I do for water and exercise. Water-wise, all I drink all day long is Crystal Light. Mostly Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade. That's my absolute favorite one. That's what I drink 99.9% .9 of the time. And then sometimes I'll do other flavors of Crystal Light, but I pretty much just drink Crystal Light all day. Like, I have a cup that I, like, I will go pull one of my big plastic cups out of the cupboard in the morning, and that's my cup that I use throughout the day, and I just do that um that's what I drink all day long and it works for me um for exercise I mostly do my country heat workout dvd um I technically do have a gym membership I'm gonna be real and say and be on and honest that I've only used it once <laughs> so far since I've gotten it I have a membership to planet fitness um and I've barely used it just because I keep having this struggle of finding time to go like, and <laughs> the thing is, like, I need to be able to go for a amount of time. Because the thing with doing country heat is, like, it's at home. It's no longer, like, it's just under a half hour at the longest. And, like, I can do that and then, like, clean myself up. And then if I have to go somewhere or if I have someone come in here for whatever reason, like, it's just quick and simple. Whereas if I go to the gym, like, I would want to spend at least an hour at the gym to make it worthwhile. But it's like I have to drive out there and then I would have to like drive back or drive out. Like it's a little bit, it's a tiny bit more of a hassle. Like it's really not that much more. I'm making excuses. I know I'm aware. But <laughs> yeah, I I mean, and the Planet Fitness membership is super cheap. So it's not like I'm completely out of much money. But and like I just got a one year membership so honestly probably once the one year membership is up I'm not going to renew it in all honesty um because too when the weather gets nice I love to just go for walks and stuff too so that's what I do for exercise um so I hope that answers that um what size she asked what size the shirt I was wearing in that video was and I was wearing my um work uniform shirt the bright pink one that one is a women's size large and the only reason I for the most part I wear size medium shirts right now but um that one is a women's large because like the shirts the sizing of those shirts are all very weird because they actually gave me a men's medium and they gave me a women's large like the men's medium is almost really big on me the women's large like fits me perfect like a women's medium probably would be small so like those the sizes of my work shirts just run very very weird so yeah the shirt that I was wearing in that video was a women's large but typically I wear a size medium. Um, and then the last question she asked me is, how was the boyfriend thing? Um, I, it's not really happening. <laughs> um, no further dates, nothing. Um, honestly, I, I've honestly just come to a point where it's like, I'm done. Like, I really don't want to like be actively seeking someone. Like I just, I'm to a point that if, that, you know, if I'm meant to get married, God will have that person cross my path at the right time, you know, when he deems me ready for it. You know, it, I'm just going to leave that kind of in God's hands. I've decided from this point on, like, it's just, I feel like actively trying to search for her boyfriend just is like silly and it seems like desperate and needy. And it's like, you know, when the time comes, the time comes and you know, it'll all be done in God's timing. So yeah, um, haven't really done any dating at all really, um, except for like once and I've gone on like one date in all honesty and yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> there, there's not much more to say about it. I'm at this point just not actively trying to date and you know it's kind of one of like I said it's one of those that in God's timing if it's meant to be it'll happen so I'm not like actively pursuing anything like that at this point so those were all the questions that I asked was asked so then now kind of just to like 
update you guys in general of where I'm at with weight loss things and stuff. Um, I, I told you guys I was like, bam, I'm really going to get myself back on track because I fell so off, far off the bandwagon. The holidays were a nightmare, <laughs> um, you know, and so I was like, got to kick my rear into gear and operation kick my rear into gear so far has been a success. I am back down to 179 now, people. Woohoo, party. <laughs> that makes me very happy because that's like where I put my lowest weight um, was 179. Technically, I was at 176 at one point, but I reached that point because due to very high stress. So it's like, I don't count that because it's like I got there not by doing what I normally do to be healthy and stuff. So I don't count that. So I'm back to 179 as of last week, Sunday. Today is Saturday. So tomorrow it could be different when I stand on the scale tomorrow. I could be down more. I could be the same. Who knows? We'll see. I'm hoping. I feel like I should be the same or a little bit lower. Like, because I feel like I've, I've been still pretty good this past week. Other than the fact that I have not really worked out at all this past week. But that's just because, like, I was trying to, like, figure out with my new work, with my new job. Like, I was kind of trying to figure out my work schedule and stuff. So... Yeah, I I just didn't really work out much this past week, but I'm going to I'm hopefully going to start getting back into my workout schedule again this week. So, I feel like I should still be the same, but I'm happy that I got myself back down to 179. I'm so so happy about that. Like I'm just like, yay, thank goodness. So, Operation Kick My Rear into gear into gear has been a success and I plan on continuing on with it to continue to stay healthy. Because then the next thing is I'm working on trying to get approved for having my belly done. And there was a whole mess with that because of the fact that the insurance I was initially trying to submit under was my insurance that I had through my old job. I don't have that job anymore, so thus I don't have that insurance anymore. So then I had to be put on my dad's insurance. And me and my dad technically had the same insurance, just under different companies and stuff. But for whatever reason, my the way they do things through my dad's company under this insurance is just a smidgen different. Like, I don't understand it. I don't get insurance companies one iota, but, um, so first off my plastic surgeon called me and was like, we're trying to submit under, submit it, but they're saying you don't have it. And I was like, I told you my insurance changed. It's under my dad instead of under what was my old job. And they were like, Oh, can you give us that information again then? So I did that. And then they called me back and they were like, okay, it looks like you're set for everything, but we need one more piece of proof that your extra skin causes you, like we need like a documented rash or something like that to, as one more piece of evidence to send to the insurance because they need one more piece of evidence. And I was like, oh, seriously? So then I literally, as sad as this is, I literally like forced myself to get a rash. And then once I had a rash, I immediately went and saw my primary care doctor. She looked at it. She put me, she gave me a prescription and then she like documented everything. And she was like, okay, we can get this sent to your insurance company. So then, or sent to your plastic surgeon's office. So then they were going to do that. So then I called them and I was like, okay, they should be sending this over. And they were like, okay, we haven't gotten anything yet. So and I was like, okay. So then I called back to my primary care doctor and she was like, yep, they should, it doesn't look like they've sent it yet, but it should get sent over. So, and then I left a note with my plastic surgeon's office to be like, let me know as soon as you get this information and as soon as you start submitting it all again. And I have not heard back from them. So I don't know. I'm probably going to have to call them again sometime in the future and be like, hey, have you gotten this stuff from my primary care doctor yet? Are you resubmitting yet? Like, what's going on? Like, I'm so sick of the calling back and forth thing. It is getting so old. But hopefully that last piece of proof will be good and they'll submit everything to my insurance and to the insurance company and hopefully, hopefully they will approve and hopefully I will be able to get the extra skin on my belly removed and the surgery I will be having when that happens is called a paniculectomy. Basically they'll be like removing my lower belly apron and then like pulling everything tight is basically what that is because that's the kind of surgery that um, insurance will cover. So I am crossing my fingers. I'm praying. I'm hoping that it will all work out and I will be able to get it removed because I'm so tired of the extra skin. I'm so tired of it. Like I'm sick of wearing a belly band all the time. I'm sick of having random back pain all the time. I'm tired of dealing with rashes. I mean, I keep them fairly at bay. They're usually not as bad during the winter as they are in the summer just because I sweat more in the summer. So it's hard to keep everything like dry and clean, you know? <laughs> um, so 
but it's like I'm just tired of dealing with it all. I'm tired of the extra skin and it's like and too like once the extra skin is gone I'm gonna probably be down another couple of pants sizes too like and I feel like it'll in general make wearing pants and stuff way more comfortable for me too and like oh I just I I want I'm so wanting it gone like it just needs to be gone so I'm very much hoping that I can get everything into my insurance company soon because I like ideally I would honestly love to have my surgery probably in March or like at the latest the very beginning of April so then I could be healed up by the beginning of May um, that would be really ideal um, just because there is a local festival in my town that I'm very much a part of at, during that first week of May and I would like to be like feeling great and stuff by that point um, so that would be like really ideal deal for me but right now it's looking like I don't know it's looking that may not happen it may I may be having surgery again in the summer who at this rate so we'll see I don't know I think this week I'm gonna make phone calls again and be like hey have you sent this stuff to my insurance you know uh, have you received this information from my primary care doctor and because I'll probably call my plastic surgeon's office and be like have you gotten the information from my primary doctor yet and if it, that's a no, then I'm going to have to call back to my primary care doctor's office and be like, can you freaking get this sent over? So I'll keep playing back and forth phone conversation fun <laughs> until they finally have what they need and they can get it sent to my insurance. So just prayers, guys, that that will happen because I want this belly surgery so badly. Like, I want this belly surgery more than I wanted my arm surgery. Like... You have no idea how badly I want this surgery and oh, yeah so yes that is where things are at for me weight loss I'm kind of getting back on track things are going great um that's kind of the updates about my you know plastic surgery situation if you guys have any further questions for me please leave them in the comment section below I will definitely read them and answer them as soon as I see them um you know any questions regarding skin surgery weight loss whatever if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section i will for sure answer them and you can always follow me on facebook and instagram links are always in the description and i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>